stays. Carter beat cancer in 2015, but has had health scares since then. The Carter Center released a statement yesterday saying that the 98-year-old former president has decided to spend his remaining time at home with his family and receive hospice care instead of additional medical intervention. It also states he has the full support of his family and medical team and asks for privacy at this time, saying that he is grateful for the concern shown by his many admirers. The former president was born in South Georgia in 1924 and went on to graduate from the U.S. Naval Academy. He began his political career in the Georgia Senate and was the governor of Georgia from 1971 to 1975. In 1976, he ran for president. Carter went on to defeat then-President Gerald Ford, coming in as a Washington outsider after the Vietnam War and Watergate scandal. While in office, he brokered Mideast peace during the Camp David Accords. He also established the Departments of Education and Energy and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. One of his lowest points in what may have led to the loss of a second term was the Iran hostage crisis. Eight Americans were killed in a failed hostage rescue attempt. He was defeated by Ronald Reagan in 1980. In his post-presidency years, Carter taught Sunday school at his hometown church and became a longtime volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. President and Mrs. Carter in prayers as he enters hospice care. We pray for his comfort and for their peace and that the Carter family experiences the joy of their relationships with each other and with God at this time. Carter and his wife Rosalind founded the Carter Center in 1982, which focuses on advancing peace and health worldwide, along with enhancing freedom and democracy. The 39th president received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002, and according to KTLA political analyst Matt Klink, he is genuinely a nice man, a husband, father of four, and and grandfather. He was an incredible activist for peace. Uh, he was invited around the world to monitor elections and make sure they were held up to uh, democratic standards in countries around the world. This is a man who has accomplished so many incredible things in his life. His family deserves the, his, the few remaining days or weeks that they have with him. Carter's grandson said in a tweet that he visited his grandparents on Friday and that they are at peace and that their home is full of love. President Biden has also been briefed and is staying in touch with Carter's family and advisors. In the News Center, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you all in the studio. Aaron Myers, thank you. We will continue to follow his condition. You can always get updates on our website. And at 810, we'll talk about the forecast now. We'll see more sunshine today. Temperatures very similar to what we felt yesterday. 27 in Big Bear. It's 32 in Lancaster, 52 degrees downtown, and 48 in Long Beach. And we're seeing temperatures start to warm up. Warmer for Oxnard, Van.